The mobile telecommunication industry in Ghana is highly competitive and technology intensive. Customers are always looking for cheaper means of enjoying services and tend to prefer companies that provide better services at lower cost. For these cheaper and improved services to happen, telecommunication companies must invest more in state-of-the-art infrastructure. One such infrastructure are steel structures seen in communities known as telecommunications towers or masts. These are mounted to provide wireless connectivity to devices such as mobile phones. The key role of these towers is to ensure mobile network operators can provide services to customers by transmitting signals and data at the required speeds in the community. As the population grows and the demand for data and voice services increases, the need for more towers also grows to ensure that network service quality does not deteriorate. But siting these towers requires land but the cost of land leases and community acceptance are significant challenges that need to be addressed. I must stress that one of our key challenges as a business includes the cost of land lease and the community acceptance of the, of the tower. But ATC, has, we have a long-term strategic partnership to be in Ghana. We are in our unwavering commitment to telecommunication sector. We are, we are putting ourselves to work with the members of communities where we operate. We make sure that we actively engage the community before and after and during the period that we are in the community so they see the need and the positive impact of the towers in the, in the community. Some communities have, however, rejected the sighting of these towers in the Upper East region. Their reason is that they have little knowledge about the benefits they bring. We have. We have them, but... Still, they are not helping. We don't know whether as they stand, they work or they are not working. You can even buy uh, data to do your own things and at the end, uh, you, you won't be able to do the work. And when you check, the data is not even in your accounts. Though the network is not good, yet they have taken the, their bundle. They are there, they are, sometimes the network is good, sometimes too. Especially at night, you want to send SMS, but the network won't allow it. Mm. We really need them to do a lot. They should work on their network. Especially night night, evening sending. We hardly we hardly get network, so they should work on it. Despite efforts to improve their services in various communities, a large chunk of the population are still without network services and if they do it is poor. The Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications is leading its members to mount over 2,000 towers in rural communities. The Ministry of Communication and Digitization themselves are also embarking on uh, you know, this rural telephony where they are planning to install over 2,000 um, towers. So what then happens is that these towers, uh, you know, once they are set up, and then the operators jump onto them, you provide telecommunication infrastructure. And once telecommunication infrastructure happens, you find other businesses in the community pick up. People are able to do mobile money. Uh, people are, you know, they are able to use that to live their lives. And then you find out that, you know, the economic activities in those communities also go up. To ensure the siting of the towers do not have any negative environmental impact, the Environmental Protection Agency deploys officers to conduct impact assessment in areas the towers are sited. The EIA department, Environmental Impact Assessment Department, would normally go and conduct environmental assessment to determine what would be the impact of siting those masks, uh, you know, to, to mount those things. And whatever is going to be emitted from there. More importantly, the issue about gensets and, and the fumes that comes out of it. If you know, the telecom masks are not supposed to go, up, uh, go off. If they go off, you and I are going to start crying that our network is not working. As the telcos keep expending money to improve services, they are often hit with unplanned costs. One such cost 
is purchasing fuel to power generators as they are often hit with erratic supply of power from the national grid. But the telcos are bent on ensuring their clients are given the best of services. Reporting for GH1 and Star News, Rosemond Akwoko Ajiti.